In today's episode we are building 3D printed airsoft bullet bearing, cylinder roller bearing and gear bearing. After we test them out and see will they have any use in real world. Stay tuned. Let's start with pal bearing. In this build I use 6mm airsoft bullets. Assemble is really easy, just print out 3 parts and push airsoft bullets between them. And use some super glue to secure the last part in place. And this bearing is ready and spins really nicely. And just for test, I scale this down and make even smaller one. And this one also spins extremely well and works perfectly. I believe it's possible to make even smaller one. But now let's move on to the next one. What is roller bearing? Actually this is not my design. This is designed by another YouTuber called Christoph Leimer. He have really nice and detailed video how he designed and built those roller bearings with what we start working on right now. Definitely go check his video out. Just for side note, level your bed really well. And using graft is also not really good idea. Because the bottom sides of the roller is not really great what they have to be in this application. But finally when I manage to print out enough rollers then I start assembly. This is pretty much same as the last one. It will not take you more than 2 minutes. To install last piece of the bearing I use 4 2mm bolts. Actually screwing those small bolts into the plastic was harder as it looks. But when it's done the bearing is spinning pretty good. This has a bit more friction than the last one but still works really nicely. I don't wanna spoil something but really wait for the testing. This one was the roller bearing. But now let's go and print out next one. Gear bearing. This is a bit different than last you were. First thing what you have to do is lubricate planet carrier. Because there will be friction what produce heat and melt the plastic. This type of thing have happened with me before. Next install 3 planet gears. You cannot install sun gear when you have all 5 planets in place. To install 2 planet gears take you a bit effort. And by the way usually I never mention what material I use. But I think in this video it's pretty important to note that almost everything is printed with ABS. I never like to use PLA when I am building something mechanical or something what will have lot of stress in the application. And I am not really PLA fan anyway. But back to build. In this pairing I use short 4mm bolts to secure top side of the planet carrier. But one important thing more. I have printed out ring gear but when I am using this as a bearing then the ring gear is not really needed. If you are still here then I think you might like this video. And if you really do then maybe hit the subscribe and like button and turn the notification bell on to not miss my new project videos. Thank you. Now it's time to start testing, but before I lubricate all bearings. But how I will test them? I use power drill and spin bearings 5 minutes with almost 1200 rpm. If they keep up and still working after 5 minutes, then they have passed the test. I test them same order as I build them. So first one is the airsoft bullet pairing.
After 5 minutes, pairing is still in one piece, but there is a lot of some white debris, what probably came from the Ayrs of Bullet. And this pairing is not spinning freely anymore. Later we cut this open and see what happened inside the bearing. But right now, let's continue with the others. Roller bearing passed the test really nicely and the result is actually totally different than last one. This bearing spins now way better than before and don't have any negative signs. If you need bearing for higher speed and are really reliable, I can recommend you this one. But we have one more to test. Well this one spins pretty much same as it did before, but have now really big play. I am not really sure where this came from, but I think the gears have worn out a bit. But I disassembled this because I wanna see how the planet carrier have hold up. There is no any visual wearing marks, planet carrier don't have any signs for melted plastic and nothing is broken. So this one also passed the test. Gears looks also totally fine, not any visual wearing marks and yeah it looks really fine. But also let's see inside the eyes of bullet bearing. Because I glued this together, I just cut this open. This one I will never use anyway. Inside the bearing is a lot more white debris. But I don't see any wearing marks on the 3D printed plastic. I think this is the good sign. So Airsoft bullet pairing is not great for high speeds, but for easier and uh, less stressful loads, why not to use this? This is so simple to make and it took for me less than 45 minutes to print. But checking the bullets closely, then it's possible to see that they have weared out and white debris came from them. In camera this is not so easy to see, but trust me. If I measure used bullet, then the diameter is let's say 5.7 mm. But the brand new one is around 5.8 mm. So there is a small difference. But this is actually pretty small. But I think the conclusion is that every bearing from this video is useful but it depends where you will use them. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And also I am really thankful when you liked this video and leaving to subscribe for this channel if you have already not done this. But this is it for today's video, see you guys really soon, bye.